What's going on everybody? It's Fernando, your fellow Alpha, here at AlphaWorks headquarters. Now I'm going to be talking to you about something pretty special today. Let me mute this music right here. Pretty good music, right? Really gives that Alpha feel. Anyways, here at Alpha headquarters and right here next to me, I have our brand new AlphaWorks inverter generator. We just dropped it. It's starting to be one of the hottest things we sell. And I'm basically going to go into it uh, with you guys here right now. We're going to be talking about the motor, the case, the electronical features and everything like that, how much power it can supply. And I'm excited to get this going for you guys. Let's hop on into it. AlphaWorks. When you think AlphaWorks, you think American. When you think American, you think of the colors, red, white, and blue. So that's what we went with here. We went with a bold choice. Most people like the stealthy look, not us. If you want to be Alpha, you got to stand out from the crowd. And so what we did is we went with a two-tone red and blue color scheme. Obviously, you have this silver panel right here for all your electronics. This is the basic color we went with. We think it looks pretty good. The case is made of a polypropylene material, so it's pretty hard. It won't chip. It won't flake on you. I mean, if you, maybe if you're going to throw it out of a semi-truck, it might, it might get damaged or something like that. But other than that, it's a really nice rugged material if you're going out on the trails you're going camping or you just need a nice little generator at home if things go down or you're going across to the pond or something like that it'll hold up to it not only is the outside tough but it's also very water resistant and weather resistant not fully waterproof but if you happen to be out camping and you leave this outside and a, and a rainstorm comes you have a good while wake up come to your senses go outside and put this thing under a tarp and it not be messed up at all. On the inside, we have it sealed up, all the wires, electronics, nothing's exposed. We have it nice and covered up so that if any water goes inside, it won't completely short out the system and you'll protect your investment, which is what we're all about. Now moving on inside, we have a 79cc four stroke overhead valve motor, uh, engine, if you will. It's pretty good. Not only is it pretty good, but it's pretty quiet. Uh, as you can see on this sheet right there, it's 67 decibels with this thing myself. And honestly, it was a lot more quiet than I thought. It has two modes on here. It has just full bore mode and then it has the eco mode. When I first started it, it was already pretty quiet and I started it outside. And then when I kicked on the eco mode, which we'll get into later, it got super quiet. Like I was like, whoa, is this thing going to die on me? Kind of quiet. It sounded like it was going to bog out, but nope, that's just really how quiet it was. And then I brought it inside the office really quick. You could hold a conversation without straining your voice to talk over this and it'd still be working fine. So it's really a really ultra quiet uh, generator, especially if you compare it to a lot of the other generators for sale at these times. It's really, it's just quiet. Um, so I like that. I would definitely take that if you're out trailing. Um, so if you want to take a look into the motor, it goes right into the side panel there. You just need two screws to take it off. Really easy, we provide you with a screwdriver and a spark plug socket, which you'll see where the spark plug is located in a second. There's the motor, fits perfectly inside our compact case. Right there is where you add the oil, nice and tight. I'm just checking it right out of the factory. And there's the spark plug area I showed you. Single spark plug, 10W30 oil, I believe is the oil recommended for this. It's pretty easy. I mean, you only have two screws holding the plate on and then the engine is completely accessible. So it's really awesome. It has a max output current of 15 amps. So you should be able to power a couple things inside of your travel trailer, run the shower or run the AC so you don't heat up inside your trailer. Now, I do know that sometimes uh, our amps could be a little low, but that's also why we included the parallel ability into our unit. Um, right here, you can see we have two parallel outlets plus a ground down there. Uh, there we go. You can see it right there. A ground so you can hook up another AlphaWorks generator or another generator of your choosing and get 30 amps, 30 amps plus so you can power your whole rig at once. In order to achieve this small compact shape, you got to sacrifice a little bit, but we made sure that you guys can still get all the power you need out of it, which is why we incorporated the parallel connectors with the ground right there so you can hook it up to anything you want. So if you purchase a third party parallel outlet kit, or you should be able to hook it up no problem. It's pretty universal. And that nut right there is just a 10 millimeter nut for the ground, put the cable on there and you secure, secure it down very easily. Now, let's get into some of the other features of the inverter generator. And it's right here on this panel right here. So we're gonna start out with this AC, just like you'd see at home. 
nice AC outlet, supplies 120 volts to bring that sheet back up there. 120 volts, you get two outlets there. So if you wanna plug in your phone, hair dryer, drill, TV, whatever, you can plug it in right there, no problem. Classic NEMA three prong plug right there. Should be standard with whatever US plugs are available right now. So let's go ahead, I'll show you guys some close up shots here. Really nice rubber coating um, lid there. I don't know what you would call it, lid cover, something of that nature. Nice waterproof, like I mentioned. Not only is the inside of the panel waterproof and secure, the outside is too. Here's me plugging up my phone to it, boom. Instant electricity, no problem. Now, just in case you do put more strain on, on this unit than you should, we do have a breaker right here, AC reset. We also have one for the DC, which I'll get into right now. But breaker, you wanna reset it just in case you overload this little guy too much, you can reset him and he'll be back up and running in no time. So, like I said, let's take a look at this DC because we also have a feature for that. Now it's only one port for the DC. Bring up the spec sheet again for you. One port for the DC supplies 12 volts and um, I'm not sure if it's for the DC, but I know the AC does give out 60 Hertz. Um, again, for both AC and DC, you're gonna have uh, 15 amps worth of power. So you should be good to go there wherever you wanna take this thing. So we have AC, we have DC, and we also have USB <laughs> right here. Uh, where is it? Boom, right under this nice sheath, I guess I'll call it, this rubber coating weather protectant sheath. Um, you have two ports there. Uh, I believe it's two amps you're gonna have in each port one to two amps and let's let's give you guys some close-up shots of this one there you go again you have that sheath there it goes inside the port so you really get a good coverage there and uh, protect all your electronical components plug it in you get instant power pretty easily if uh, your sister your mother your brother your father your cousin is taking up the AC outlet for their phone you can go ahead and pop in your USB to power whatever device you want through the USB port. It's gonna supply two amps of power. Cool. So, when you start this bad boy up, you're gonna have a couple LED indicators right here. Why am I trying to show you on the screen? I have close-ups for you. So, you have overload and you have your output. The output will glow green whenever the unit is on, just to let you know it is on. We also have an oil indicator light, just in case your oil gets low or something might uh, start to malfunction in your unit. A uh, nice little precautionary measure we have there to notify you before your unit just completely implodes on itself. We have an eco mode right here. It's easy little switch on and off, just like the ones at your house. And like I said, when when uh, the unit was on full bore, you could hear it, obviously. Still wasn't too loud, but you could hear it. But when you switch on this eco mode, I have, actually have a clip in here. You could hear it uh, bog down and this, it get a little bit more silent. And it's really nice, honestly. Um, in fact, I think I just might show you um, but before I do, really quick, this is a pool start. We might be working on a cool, uh, what do you say, push to start, like a nice Ferrari or something like that. That'd be kind of cool, right? Um, but right now we have a recoil start. You just yank this guy right here. It'll usually turn on in, in one pull. I mean, you really don't have to break a sweat to start this thing up. You have an off, on, and choke. Uh, usually you only turn the choke on when it's getting a little cold. You want to get the start on, uh, get it uh, started in cold weather. Or if it's running, just turn on the choke. It'll cut the fuel supply safely and it'll just bog down until it dies. Let's get to those clips. I'll show you guys really quick what the sound sounds like when um, you turn on eco mode and just what it sounds like in general. Here we go. There it is at full bore and then I'll turn on eco mode. It revs up just a little bit. I'm about to turn on eco mode in just a second. There we go. I have another clip. So if I was talking over it and you missed it, I'll do it again for you. Really quiet. Really smooth. And there's the output light that I told you about before, along with you get a full view of the panel there. Again, there's a recoil. All your options. And here we go starting it. It's going to rev up. Full bore, eco mode. Smooth power transition. Uh, I forgot to mention, you turn on eco mode, you're gonna get about five to seven hours out of this puppy. So you can go ahead, 
get in the trailer, put your jammies on and go to sleep. And this thing will probably be here for you, turned on, chugging away when you wake up and um, just put in another tank of gas. I believe it takes about less than a gallon of gas to fill this thing up, fill it up in the morning, turn on your electric stove and make some eggs and bacon for the morning. Just obviously, if you don't use the eco mode, it's going to be a little bit less, maybe three to four, but I would recommend using the eco mode. It's quieter, you get more runtime out of it and you get the same amount of electricity. So it's not too bad. That pretty much covers this guy right here. So if you want to purchase one of these, let me take you to the website you're going to go on and what it's going to look like. I'll walk you through everything. Get mini me going. Bam, there it is. So when you pull up to the Amazon website or you click on our video here, it's going to pull you up to our listing page. And we really try to think of the customer when we build these. We try to think of everything you guys would think of in terms of questions. We try to cover it here so that if our manual doesn't cover it, if the info on the product doesn't cover it, it's covered right here on the listing page, the exact source from where you bought it. So you can just reference this and usually it should answer our questions. If not, we have some couple people here at our office at AlphaWorks headquarters that do a great job um, that can help you. Um, our tech support guy, he can pretty much help you trouble through, troubleshoot through anything uh, we sell here. And our customer service gals can, um, you know, just give you that nice AlphaWorks hospitality fix any issue you might be having. But we do, I believe, offer a one year warranty on all of our products. So right here, if anything goes wrong with it, you have a one year warranty and we'll you can go ahead and contact us. We can go through everything for you. Uh, not only do we have good information here, but we have quality pictures here, just close up so you can see everything before you buy. You can really tell how vibrant it is if you couldn't color is just really good. And here's the exhaust port for anyone who didn't know. Not only do we have those bullet points there, but we also have something down here. It gives even more information than what the listing page provides. So if the listing page doesn't give you the answers you're looking for, scroll down just a little bit and you might find what you're after. Right here, safety is one of our number one uh, priorities here at AlphaWorks. We like to make sure that everyone is alpha but also being safe. When we send this unit out to you, it's not gonna have any oil or any fuel, obviously, or else you're gonna get a really wet box and no one likes that. So you're gonna go ahead and have to add the oil and the fuel, 87, I believe, octane for you. And yeah, less than a gallon, you'll fill it right up. It'll be like 50 cents. If you guys do pick up one of these units and you love it, please let us know. Uh, give us a review on Amazon, your honest opinion, even if it's good or bad, we would like to see where we can make improvements on this. And if you love it, let us know so that we can keep pumping these things out. So well, thank you guys for joining me. It's been a pleasure. Your fellow Alpha here at AlphaWorks. Keep it Alpha.